Hello everyone, welcome back to the Ghostly Sisters! Tonight, we are going to be telling you the untold story of La Llorona, which has been passed down from generations in our family for many, many years. It is a story different from the one you may have heard, but it is the real legend. We were told only a few knew the true story, but it became clouded by those who twisted the story for their own satisfaction. This sad and tragic story is about a woman named Maria who lived in Chiapas, Mexico. She was said to be very beautiful with a caring heart, who was an active member in her community always volunteering to help those in need. Although her beauty might have sparked some jealousy with other young women in her village, this sentiment would soon fade because of her kind and humble nature. Whenever she was around, her bright energy was felt, making anyone who came across her happy. However, there was one young woman named Laura whose jealousy could not be shaken. With every opportunity, she would plant poisonous seeds in the minds of those who would listen. Because of Maria's beauty, she had many admirers, but she showed no interest in any. Therefore, Laura would use her lack of interest to taunt those men, making them feel foolish for pursuing Maria. And she would claim Maria was a creída, which means uh, conceited or stuck up. As a result, some of these men would resent Maria for her rejection. Still, there were those who knew those words were spewing out of the mouth of a jealous girl, so they would just ignore Laura's negative comments. One day, a wealthy young man named Alejandro came to town. The news of his arrival soon finds its way through the village. However, since Maria lived on the outskirts of the village, and she had not gone to town that day, so she had not learned of his visit. Still, fate would bring them together. As she was enjoying her day, they met at the river. He was immediately captivated by her beauty. So he introduced himself to her. She had no idea who he was, nor did she know of his wealth. They spent the rest of the day together getting to know each other. And by the end of the day, Maria was enchanted by the stranger's courteous and kind nature. He was a gentleman. Aww. Their relationship and love for each other blossoms into something beautiful. and they are soon married, living a loving and happy life together. In the following years, Maria and Alejandro would give birth to two sons. Everything would seem perfect. But during this time of happiness, a dark and sinister energy was brewing. Laura's jealousy consumed her, and she could not stand seeing Maria happy and she despised observing Maria with her husband and children. Laura was filled with so much hatred, she could not live her life in peace. She wanted to destroy Maria's life. In the dead of the night, to avoid being seen, Laura went to seek a man who was said to practice black magic. He lived deep in the forested area in Chiapas. Knowing of his practices, Laura came prepared. She brought with her a personal item she had taken from Maria. With that, the brujo prepared a wax doll. blending the item into the doll. Before he handed the doll to Laura, he explained, once you complete the ritual, there is no turning back. The black magic will run its course. Are you sure you want to do this? She intently replied, 
Yes, without hesitation. But sir. He handed Laura the doll and directed her to recite a chant, focusing purely on her obsession, Maria. Once completed, she was to bury the doll in the earth's soil. The next day, Laura sat at a distance from the river where Maria frequented. She contemplated whether or not she should follow through with her evil intent. Just then, she witnessed Maria happily walking to the river with their children. The sight of Maria once again infuriated Laura. She could not shake her envious dark heart. And at that moment, as she stared at Maria with hatred, she completed the ritual. Laura spied from a distance, not knowing what she might witness. For a moment, she believed nothing might happen. Maybe she was tricked by the brujo. Suddenly, while Maria was at the water's edge, carrying her infant who was wrapped in front of her, while she held her eldest child's hand while he gleefully played in the water, Maria went blank, emotionless, gazing out into the distance. Without warning, Maria violently began to drown her son. Instead of holding his hand, she began to push him down. The little boy yelled with terror as he witnessed his mother trying to end his life. And while this vicious attack took place, her baby, with all this movement, slipped out of the wrap, falling into the water and drowned, carried away by the river's current. A villager who was nearby heard the commotion and he ran to see what was happening. When he came closer, he was in shock to see the atrocity that was before him. He yelled, Doña Maria, Doña Maria, as he ran towards her, attempting to stop the horror, but it was too late. When he reached Maria, her son's lifeless body was motionless, his eyes staring wide open. All of the beautiful shades of color that once lit his bright, young, tan face were gone. He began to shake Maria, exclaiming, What have you done? What have you done? Maria was once again conscious, only to find the realization of her horrific actions. Her son now floating away, and the baby she once held against her chest was nowhere to be seen. Maria, with the most dreadful sound, began yelling in anguish, Ay, mis hijos, oh my children. She hysterically dived into the moving river, hoping to retrieve them, and she too drowned. Laura, in shock from what she had just witnessed, knowing she was the cause of this wickedness, did not regret her actions. Instead, she spent her life spreading rumors surrounding Maria to those who would listen, until Laura lost all bases of reality and wandered the streets, talking only to her imaginary beings, recounting all her lies. Sadly, her lies are what you now hear, a story of a vain woman who did this out of spite. Instead of the truth, a kind, beautiful woman who loved her children and husband but fell victim to someone's cruel, envious soul. Maria now lives in darkness, trapped in the evil, static energy of her death. In anguish, endlessly searching every body of water for her sons, who sadly and violently died by her hands. If you are near any rivers, lakes, or an ocean, it is said if you listen quietly, you will hear Maria, La Llorona, in agony, wailing, desperately searching for her children.